Welcome to another episode of Transport Fever 2. It's me, Ridsley, again, and I hope you liked the first episode. If you didn't see it, you can watch it, but you could skip it as well. I recommend watching it because I, uh, I explain how the game works a little bit, and I um, show you the map, what seat I need, I use, and stuff like that. So we have here our two cities we want to have a growth in. Let me activate the icons again. As I said before, we have here this oil well, together with this oil well, and those uh, oil refineries and the fuel refinery. What I want to do, because we have a relatively flat map, I would like to connect these things up. Um, the oil refinery and the fuel refinery are really easy to connect. Um, the oil wells are easy to connect as well, but I don't know how to connect the oil wells with the refine oil refinery. I think I have to go around this hill a little bit and maybe cross the road back here. I don't know. Maybe I get the train line like this. And then I add the... Yeah, let me try that. So, I like to start with trains because I think trains are just more useful in this game. So, to begin with, I like to use trains because um, they're pretty fast. They're expensive though, so I want be able to use too many so I think what I will do is I will get a hmm, cargo station here maybe no this adds disconnects I could place it a bit more like this I think it would benefit from that. Like that. Then I get the street in front of it done. Put it like this. Seems fine to me. This is connected. Yes, it is. So I will have the second train station. With two trains arriving somewhere here, I guess. Yes, <laughs> that was an accident. I didn't want to put it down already, but yeah. So, like this, and this is connected now. So, I can have one line going here, and your line coming here into the second part of the train station last but not least I have to connect this uh, oil refinery I think I will use another one of these with one lane hmm. I don't know where to put put the the train depot yet but I will see. Maybe I will just put it back here. Uh, let me rotate that real quick, like this. Um. Then. I could connect this immediately. This will cost us uh, 1300. But I think we could get it cheaper if uh, we connect it a bit more manually so it doesn't terraform as much. Like this, I like it a lot. 
This road doesn't s seem nice. I like it more like that. I will have to terraform this when I have some money. But keep in mind, this is just a loan from the bank, so you will get uh, minus money, or you will lose money per uh, month. You have to pay back to the bank. So, I think 60 kilometers per hour is okay. I mean, 55 works as well. I will have to terraform this to look nice later on. You see, it just digs out the the hill if it's if there's too much like it did here. But I mean, I can live with that. Uh, later on, I will add a drain line like this. That would work fine, and we could actually then use this connect uh, connect this through mount through a tunnel to here to produce some machinery for Cascrave as well Cascrave as well and then yeah we are good set up pretty nice um next I want to add a truck station so this stuff, the fuel, can get transported into the city. As we can see in this layout, we have the um, the people would like it to have it back here. The fuel. I think we can do that for them. We'll do it just like that. So, yeah, you see, it has a pretty big. Uh, um, radius where it covers um, to name my stations I will just use um, I will just copy this name and add it in because I think it's the easiest way to do it like that so I don't confuse anything mm, let me see like this and here, do it like that. Perfect. Now I have named all the stations. I'm not sure if it wouldn't have been faster to use roads instead of the train, but I will add on this, and this will be faster by train for sure. Um, so let's buy an. A bus or a road depot. I will place it at the end of this road. Maybe next to the train depot. I think that might look cool. Do it like this and then it's all ready. So now I have to buy train we only have one <laughs> locomotive and one tank car which will transport all the goods we have or we have to transport um so yeah we can totally do that 
I noticed something now. Hmm. I have to deliver the oil at the fuel later on here. I have this train station set up like this, so I have to make a curve and deliver it back here. So I would have to place maybe a cargo station right here facing this direction. That would be a solution, but I will come to that later. So first we get our um, train rolling. I'm not sure how much they want 70 so we give them 70 if we can do that. We have 50 we will go for we should go for 70 because it will half the amount of oil. Let's see. 22. 600 meters. Uh, I will go for 50 capacity at the moment. I think that might be enough. I hope so. So yeah. Let's go for it. Minus 1.7 mil. So I will create this one from here, then it should go to the oil refinery, go back to the oil well, go to the oil refinery again, come back here, go back to it. So basically it brings twice, uh, three times this, so we can produce two loads of this never mind it doesn't work out uh, yeah maybe I have to do two trains but at the moment I can't do that I'll just do it like that I always click the wrong hey why doesn't it work ah sh did I connect it to the wrong ah <laughs> uh, yeah, let me fix this real quick. So, can I get a one hundred and twenty kilometers per hour? Uh, I don't know what it's called in English, but this one. <laughs> so line one, at the moment it's called line one. I will rename that of course later. Then we have, actually we do it like this to here. And then this is, okay, Grave fuel stop. Then I will buy a few of these. Maybe that's too many. I don't know. I hope three are enough at the beginning. Oops. So line two and I think the rest of the money I will repay so we have less monthly pays okay let's see I will name the lines real quick um, this is um, oil fuel And this is to industry 
because it delivers to the industry. I could call that industry. Industry, nice. Perfect. Shall we go on a ride with the train we have? I will speed up the game to four times. We have here our lovely road to <laughs> Keskraven. And behind this large hill is another village where I, of which I forgot the name. <laughs> so here we will switch. And we will switch. What is it called? I don't know. Um, it's rail, but how is it called? The, um, I will have to Google some English words for this project. <laughs> Here we go around our big corner. We don't even slow down. Because slowing down is for... And as we see here is a lot of oil waiting. Wow, look at that. Here we have small barrels, big tanks, and we are already full. Oh my god. So we have 117 oil waiting already, because it produces 400. Oh my god, guys. We should have a rate of 400. Pro would be best, but with this train it isn't possible. <laughs> Look how he fights to get up this little hill. Okay, it's not even that little, but still, he has a really hard fight for doing this. You can hear the steam engine and the birds twittering. It's amazing. I love the atmosphere of the game. If you look into these deep forests, it's amazing. Look at this scenery. Wow. Actually, what I could do is, after this, go back and go like this. So he will turn around here at the oil refinery. Go back to the oil well. Get um, 50 oil again. And then he can now take 25 with it. 25 oil with him, but already on the next ride or on the next time he goes back, he brings 50. So they're producing 25 and had produced 25 already from the last 50 he brought, and therefore he makes pl more plus in the that works. <laughs> I hope at least, and so we can use it to, yeah. We can use uh, or transport more oil. Just look how hard he's fighting up here. These trains are just weak, and we already have 300 <laughs> at the cargo hop waiting. <laughs> wow. And it's approximately four months, five months since we let the engine roar. So, let's see. Here should be waiting 24, not yet. 25, but... Yeah, but you can see he has 25 now. This is the levers up here. They produce 25 more while he is going up here. Then he will bring 25. Uh, he will take 50 from here. That produces 25 again. So we have 50 here. Goes back here. Brings 50. Takes 50 uh, of the refined oil to the fuel refinery. Make that. So here he is pretty fast. 
I don't think he has enough time to actually uh, accelerate on his top speed, but maybe on the way down. Who knows? Let's see. Again, his driver. Back over that hill. We have something pretty nice as well. Oh, <laughs> I bumped into the mic again. <laughs> I'm sorry if you could hear that. Yeah, he reaches 35, 40 kilometers per hour. So he actually reaches top speed here. And he can use this momentum he got to get up this hill pretty good. It's a pretty steep hill still, <laughs> even though we have not many mountains, or I wouldn't even call those mountains. I would just call them small hills. Yeah. Now he reached 40 as well, but the, on the way back he he isn't able to accelerate that hard. <laughs> so he made minus. Oh my god. I'm not sure if that was a good invest uh, investment. <laughs> Let's see. I think we should add another locomotive. Let's see if we can do that. Nope, we can't. Um, let me borrow. Hmm. Yeah, I think now it's better because now he has the power to get up at least a little hill. I think he should be faster then as well. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, now there are two locomotives <laughs> smoking at each other. I don't like it. I love this game. Yeah, it's amazing. Look at our little train going. So basically with this stop we made 200. And we are in plus. Look at this. We made money out of this. <laughs> nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Um, thanks for watching and consider liking and subscribing if you liked it. And yeah. Ignore my mic mouse. I'm still not used to it because I bought it a few days ago and yeah. I used to play with headset but uh, and record with headset but this mic is crisp clear. I love it. It's amazing. <laughs> Let me say that. Yeah. As the go as the train arrives in the train station. I'll leave you now. I won't simulate the game any further. So Oh, did you see that? He just ran, got run over by the tree. Oh my god. So, with this tragic event, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.